strikes a gun to the head and thousands stolen in a flash. Good evening to you. I'm Corey Stark. I'm Samantha Jones. The Facebook Marketplace deal spiraling into a frightening ordeal. And right now, police are looking for the men who stranded a 20 year old woman. Only News 4's Emma Hogue is investigating the Swansea steal and finding these types of crimes are on the rise. I was so scared that no tears could come out like I was scared for my life. Tonight, this 20 year old is back home, but still shaken for her privacy. She asked to remain anonymous as she detailed the most frightening moment of her life. I honestly thought that was my last breath right there. It started when she got a message from an interested buyer about this Dodge Charger she was selling on the Facebook marketplace. After messaging back and forth, she agreed to let him come to her mom's house so he could take a look at the car in person. I was fine. I, I didn't feel any warning signs. They, they, they felt they seemed like the most friendliest guys ever. She says the two young men asked to take a test drive. She sat in the passenger seat. Her mom called her five minutes into the drive to check in and found out they were headed back home. Oh, so I told her, OK, I'll see you in just a minute. And a few minutes after I hung up the phone is when the white SUV sped away real fast. Turns out there was someone hiding inside the car the two men arrived in that was parked outside of their home. Around the same time, her daughter says the test drive in the Dodge Charger took a turn. We pulled back into the neighborhood and that was when they told me to get out and pointed a gun at my head. Frantic, she got out of the car and ran to a neighbor's home. The men sped off with her car and cell phone. I thought they were going to roll down the window and shoot me right on the sidewalk. We do see that there's been an increase in the number of reports that we've gotten at BBB. Rebecca Phoenix investigates for the Better Business Bureau and says car scams stemming from online postings on buy and sell sites are up and blames the pandemic. At the rate it's going, the BBB expects a 25% increase in reports by the end of the year. You're dealing with somebody you don't know, and that person may still have the intent to steal from you, but they're going to do it face to face, and that could be even more violent or threatening. I let my guard down. Now I know I should have met at the police station, but it didn't happen that way because I had no fear. Investigators say their number one tip in a situation like this is to never give a potential buyer your home address. Always best to make those exchanges at a police department or another public spot. We have other warning signs and tips from the BBB posted right now on our KMOV News app. In St. Louis, Emma Hogue, News 4.